Right, here's a fermenter test. Um, first time I've tried having a water jacket around my 20 gallon stainless container. Um, we started off at 14.9 water temperatures and over an hour so far it's dropped, the jacket temperature has dropped from 14.9 to 12.2. What's happening is the water jacket is being stirred by this pump here. It's a standard central heating pump. It's coming out of the bottom of the the plastic container and being pumped round and back in. This is the kind of flow it's achieving. Right? Good hose pipe kind of good hose pipe kind of flow. So that is just recirculating and the idea is it's generating a swirl effect which means that the water in the water jacket is a constant temperature. The other two pieces of kit that are doing things is as a, a water cooler, it's the kind of thing you find underneath, uh, underneath work surfaces at work in the kitchens to do the cold, the cold tap water. So there's a a tiny tank here that's being cooled by the fridge unit and water is flowing in. So rather than using main, the idea of these is mains water flows in there and the tap water comes out here. So when you turn the tap on, you remove water from here that's been frozen to quite a cold temperature set by the thermostat. No idea what the thermostat is set to, but that's running. And instead of mains water, I've got this pump here. This pump's being driven by this motor and it's basically coming out up here into the pump, out of the pump, through the cold water, back out and in. And it's flowing at that kind of rate. So this cold water unit is manufacturing cold water, it's recirculating the water in the water jacket and cooling it down. It's managed a couple of degrees so far. It looks like it's got the power overall to generally keep a fermenter down to a temperature and there's no insulation on that as yet, it's just a, a water butt plastic container. So once that's insulated and with a proper lid it should have it should be man enough to cool it to whatever I want and then I'll arrange a separate system using this STC 1000 with a heating system as well via a, I've got a, a rims heater here with a an element of, that rims heater has got an element like this which is one of the American four and a half kilowatt elements um, quite good so the heating side of things will be applied to it if needs be via a system like that and a separate set of pumps. So that I'm well pleased with the way that's working. That looks like it's got the got the oomph. Um, I've got a fan here cooling the motor because the motor tends to get quite hot. I think there might be something wrong with the motor, I'm not sure. But that pump unit, which is a vein pump, manages to suck the water out of the water jacket and up that silicon tube and self prime itself. So that pump self primed in this Mickey Mouse situation we've got here. So that's really good. Um, the pump, the central heating pump doesn't self prime. It needs a, it seriously needs a, a boost into life. But once it, the air's gone out the system, as long as it's being fed sensibly, then it's, it's flowing like a, oh, it's, it's a goodly hose pipe kind of amount. I'm well pleased with that test. I'll uh, document the rest of the temperatures and see what it gets down to. Very pleased with that. So that's the first rough and ready experiment to see if the cooling system is up to the job and I think it is. Right, that'll do.